You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. Whack 100. I see why they call you whack, all right? No, I'm not going to take too long today. Whack, you are very whack, my brother. Listen to me. Before you misconstrue, misconstrue what I'm saying as hate, I'm going to let you know right now. I have my reasons, which I'm going to get into. Before you misconstrue what I'm saying, and, 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 and this is really a black people problem. Listen, I am not active in the streets. I am not active doing crime whatsoever. So this whole no snitching thing, I'm not going to take, no, no, no. I'm not here to snitch. I don't believe in snitching. But this is a critique, all right? I'm not exposing nothing. I'm not. I'm just here to critique an idea. All right? Not a crime. Not an affiliation. Don't get me mixed up in your politics. I quit rapping recently. And a lot of people keep asking me, AK, man, what's up with you, man? The music industry is evil. That's what's up with me. It's evil. You know, first of all, let's look at Clubhouse. I've been around this internet for 10 years. I've been on early YouTube. I've watched YouTube since people like Shane Dawson, Day Storm, uh, early days. I'm talking, what's a dude named Fred? I've been on this internet a long time. I've been here since Facebook became cool now it's boomer book but i was around when it was facebook when myspace has just faded out all right i'm older than most of my uh viewer base but i'm not that old i'm closer to you guys in age as far as whack 100 i i'm way younger than whack all right here's my problem though and I've 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 spoken about this before in my in my drill video, where I critiqued the drill and I've I played a part in birthing that movement, benefited financially from it. So obviously I feel a little bit of guilt and responsibility. All right, when I'm dead and gone, all this money I made, you know, like I don't want my legacy to be. <clears throat> just benefited from whatever, all right? I don't want my legacy to be a rapper, or as some people was calling me, scam rapper. I hated that term. I pioneered hacker music, but that term never stuck. Either way, I feel obligated to critique these poisonous ideas that, 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 that seem to, uh, What's the word? These poisonous ideas that live and exist. And yet, they're not existing on their way out. <laughs> it seems like they're on their way forward. When it comes to black America, and just in the West, really, you know, obviously, for them, a lot of people grow up without fathers. They look for uh, people to look up to. Now, when the people you look up to are like whack 100, man, man, let me tell you something. I've been watching Hassan Campbell recently. I hope this beeping is not being caught in the mic because it's annoying. Anyway, I've been watching Hassan Campbell. And I like, I like his message. I agree with it. I felt how he felt anyway because I've always been a get money type of guy work and stay out the way kind of guy. 
All right, you might come in here. You was ready to call me police for. I'm not police. All right, I'm from the streets. All right. I've known. Hey, listen. I've known people, and and all type of. Uh, you know, I don't want to get mixed up in the politics, but I've known people active. Let's just say. I've never been part of a gang. I didn't want to. I've always been this nerd guy that you guys see in front of you. And people respected that. These gang members respected that. Okay, that's AK. That's a nerd. He do his thing. I'm not trying to be a gang member. But I am not no sweet guy. Meaning, I won't fold by intimidation and pressure. Which plagues this music industry. <clears throat> If you haven't watched my lecture, on, on the last lecture, I spoke about something. How sacred is words and how sacred is music. Music is the language of the universe. It's a sacred language. Music is supposed to be this positive thing. The business around it is supposed to be a positive thing. I get it. You're not going to make a lot of money rapping. Most rappers don't make a lot of money. Let's just keep it 100. Why lie? For the majority of my career, I didn't make a lot of money. But hear me out. The problem is not the money, though. The problem is the mentalities that plague and the evils that are... that are. I wish I remember that word. The evils that live within us as, as, as a... Whether it's hip-hop... Whether it's, it's, it's rap music. Now, I look at Hassan Cabo. Oh, OG, I'm 24 years old. I'm way younger than him and Wack. But let's look at Hassan or Charleston White. Charleston is a wild card. All right? He's kind of for all for it. But I'm just saying, an older dude spreading a, a message of, hey, yo, put the guns down. All right? The streets, it's not going to lead you nowhere. It's only two places. The, the bin or the grave. No matter how long it takes. Only a few escape. But that's a very low probability. I don't know if you want to risk that game. Alright? If you want to take that risk just to feel protected and end up like Takashi, you go ahead. Ruin your own life. I really do miss the Soldier Boy era, right? Look at these old heads. They're both, I mean, not both. Wack really is just fueling this whole gangster stuff. Without speaking on my life too much, a lot of these young dudes respect me. <laughs> as an older brother, but also as a G, alright? Like I said, without talking too much. As a G, I'm a D to a lot of these guys that know me, know me. Just like Wack is a D to a lot of these guys. But when these guys come up to me talking gangster stuff, I immediately shut it down. I'm like, what the hell? You should be educating. You should be learning. I'm not sitting on Clubhouse for three hours <laughs> talking about all type of street politics. Why are you involved in street politics? Whack, how old are you? I never really asked that. But I wondered. Whack, you are old enough to be my father, if not my grandfather. But the messages you're pushing are really harmful, bruh. We're not talking Andrew Tate harmful. That's objectively harmful. The stuff you're... <laughs> Hey, I mean, listen, you're a businessman. You do your job as a, as a music executive and manager really well. I'm not here to talk about that. And I'm not going to take that away from you. But as far as, 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 as you, there's a stupidity. Let's just be honest. Let's just keep it all the way on it. There's a stupidity that exists in a black community and spreading into the hip-hop community. So... You know, it's really black and anybody who act black, all right? The 1090s uh, flakes, the, the the Kashis of the world, you know, all right? I can keep going. Not all of them, but the mentality, nonetheless, 
is 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 alive and well in in this urban world we're in. I hate the fact that the older dudes are are pushing it more, and kind of like yeah, you know, showing off like a peacock, a peacock of coonery. All right, a peacock of. <laughs> I'm trying to hold my tongue, man. This is YouTube. You feel me? Like you are not doing nothing. You you should be telling these kids, hey, bro. You trying to join the blast? You should be stopping them from that. You should be trying to educate them. Inspire them to do something like you. Maybe become successful as an executive. Something. But instead, like Hassan says, you're a senior citizen. Sit on Clubhouse. Alright? Not giving no game. You just sit there. On Pyru, cuz. I check his paperwork on Pyru, cuz. You can't see my face, but... Oh, You're a senior citizen, dude. F the politics. F all that. It don't matter to me. But hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's stop a second. All of this is stuff that I already thought to myself and just kept moving. Because again, I no longer want to be in the music with y'all. One, if I two, if I did, I wouldn't be trying to get no gang checking in. Like, what is this checking in stuff? I was like asking myself a lot. You come to LA, you gotta check in, check in, check in. What are you, border patrol? Huh? All uh, check in where? What is this hotel? So I asked myself, check in, check in. Now. Checking in. I mean, you hear a lot of people from down there say checking. I get it. You come, you get the protection. But is that really checking in? Or is it extortion? Let's just keep it all the way funky. Let's just keep it all the way 100. All right? Let's just keep it 100, bruh. That's extortion. So I'm going to use science to make sense of this all. Because, quite frankly, it's really hard to make sense of this coonery that is, 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 you know? Like, it's really, it's, it get to a point, it's like, hold on. Checking in. All this talk of checking in. You come to my city, you check in. You check in. Let's look at WAC, because that's, that's the example I chose today. And, 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 and this is really, as I get closer to it. You're going to see why I decided what really got me so hot, so tight, to have to make this, to feel obligated to get on here and talk about another man. Or really critique him, because I, I don't know you from a can of paint, dude. Okay? Hear me out. Scientifically, probability of checking in being a cool relationship, as we've seen in the Kwando Big U example, which we're going to see how that turned out. Or it being extortion. 50-50. There's two options, so probability is 50-50. What changes that 50-50 balance? Well, let's see. The factors of it. You keep telling people to check in, check in, check in, like you're the Motel 5. or, or, or uh, You got to stay at the W, the Hilton... And the Ritz Carlton's of the of the coonery in the world, right? You know, you get top flight security, I assume, and uh, uh, it's not an option, all right? It's 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 obli obli. Hold on, what's the word? Mandatory. It's like when you go to a restaurant. Okay, some of you guys here might have ordered your little fast food today, or went and bought clothes, whatever you have bought, legally. Um, let's say you bought a $12 item, but you probably paid $15 because there's three bucks taxes. That's mandatory. You can't not do that. The fact that it's mandatory, because the way it seems is, you better check in or get hot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the song on Big U's uh, Check In podcast. So I'm just trying to make sense of this song. 
Checking in. If you're a black guy, which is already hard being a black guy in this world, you know, you gotta check in with the with the street generals, quote unquote, or they are gonna take you out of life. Ale. So you probably gonna have to drop a few, you know, cut a check as you, if you will, to um, these streets. So that's. Pretty much, we've entered the extortion realm here. Oh, you guys think oh, this is my only point? God, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. I'm just getting started. Whack 100. I'm not going to keep calling you old because I know you're old. You know how you're old. And it's just disrespectful. I don't like being, you know, when young, when young dudes try to critique me and their whole point is me being old. So let's let's push that away. I'm not gonna say you're old, but you're a grown man. You're a grown man. Getting on clubhouse, getting on academics, getting on 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 wherever else that you be on online, publicly. And I've I've heard you say some things that, you know, the average dude in our hip hop community that I keep talking about. I'm sorry to say, most of them are NPCs. They are sleeping sheep. Sitting somewhere off a of blunt, off a of Percocet, sipping a little lean, and walking like a zombie with their eyes closed, worried about buying drip and, and flexing for the ground. The same stupid cycle that I was in, I had to break. But hold on. These people, NPCs, when you sit there and you talk about I got the sex tape of Kim K that ain't come out. Hmm? Listen, I'm a grown man. I've had the pleasure of having a, a, a home video, if you guys want to call it that. I don't see the benefit of another man having my video. I might have known someone who, ended up, you know, from back home who happened to have a home video as a homie. I'm not interested in watching his home video. What's the purpose of you keeping a home video of 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 whether it be Kim K, whether it be Nipsey Hussle? Because that's the one that was really alarming. Kim K, why do you have a why do you have one? Why can you answer me that? Or I'm not sure if it was Nip, so don't quote me on it. But he had a he had a home video of Nipsey Hussle allegedly performing acts of the Rainbow Coalition, if you will. All right, performing acts that would classify as uh, 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 the pronouns they slash them. <laughs> no judgment again. You know me, I'm all inclusive. I laugh and joke, but I don't that don't make me like nip a little less. Alright? You guys I, might call me uh fruity for saying that, but mostly I got a little Uzi on your playlist. Don't ever play with me like that. Cause I can debate all day, but hear me out. I still don't understand. Let's let's pretend that this home video tape of nip engaging in the in the in the Homo erectus, rainbow coalition, and nation. All right, alphabet, but not the, not the, not the feds or the CIA. Alphabet that is um one two three L B G T B B. All right, B B Simon Belt. All that. All right. Let's say this tape of Nip getting down with the get down exists. Why do you have it? Again, don't quote me on this. I can't remember if I heard this from his mouth or from Hassan's mouth or I've read it somewhere. But the info has landed on me that Lauren London, and again, this could be her with Nip or this could be an entirely different rapper. But the, the tape, allegedly, is that came out of his own mouth. Either way, Lauren was paying... 
Mr. Whack Jumper here. Alright? Mr. Whack and terrible and horrible. 800000 Damn near a million dollars. To not leak the tape. You know what that's called? That's called blackmail. That's called blackmail. I'm not snitching. I mean, if hey, listen, there, listen, anybody watching, police, whatever, don't go and get whacked. All right. If 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 Lauren didn't complain, then Lauren didn't complain. There is no. I could be lying. I'm saying allegedly. But hear me out. This is no snitching. This is stuff you've been spewing on the interviews and stuff and clubhouse. You're a grown man on Piru, cuz. You're a grown man. You have tapes of of people in, in, in very questionable situations, right? You see, this is setup vibes. Either you set them up to do the tape, to blackmail them for it, or extort them for it for years. And and, and, and demand to check in. <laughs> It's, it's extortion, ain't it? It's gangster politics, gang banging. There's no loyalty in it. If you trust it, I see these gang dudes talking about, oh, my brother. I, I died for my brother, huh? But then they get locked up, they all snitch on each other. And the dude's busy <clears throat> trying to impress people by, by acting tough, probably. Hey, no, me right now, as we speak, talking about, oh, man, you ain't get it. You ain't in the streets. Shut up. I've been through more in life than you will ever have. In the streets. Why do you think I am the way I am right now? I've been through hell. Let me tell you something, in case you haven't been locked up. The people you're trying to impress right now, I wonder if they will pay you commissary. Send you money, visit you, send you a letter. I wonder if they would. I say they won't, but you want to get locked up and find out? That's up to you, all right? It's a lot of extortion going on and blackmail in the music industry. Way beyond, what's his name? Wacker. Mr. Pyru himself, all right? This is, this is bigger than him. See, my issue is not with whack. No, it's not. My issue is not with a person. It's with a, with a mentality and, and harmful patterns. Listen, man. In this world, it's hard being a black man. Especially in a, in a, in a, in a North America. I mean, just America, all right? Canada, we're doing all right. See, Wack right now is probably looking at me. He's like, who is this AK dude? I got to look at his paperwork. You know, he likes to look at paperwork. Wack, you won't find it. Because I don't have paperwork. All right? I don't have it. I don't have paperwork. I never have. I never will have. Inshallah, never ever. Any weapon formed against me shall never prosper. I'm in. And I'm not even American. Alright? Everything I'm saying, if you're going to call me a... Uh, 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 huh? Everything I'm saying, I'm, I'm just a guy. I'm an outsider looking in. Online. But my issue is not with whack here, guys. My issue is not with whack, whack. I don't care about your paperwork. I don't care about your street. I don't care about that. I don't look at that when I see. I see you, the person. You know? Let me make it clear. I am, what I'm about to say here, I am not defending or justifying blackmail or extortion under any circumstances. But I'm going to do uh, what they call. Let's just play devil's advocate and try to look at it from wax position. Again, I grew up in the streets, the hood. 
like you. I've, you know, my goal was never to be a top general like you. Nah, it was to get money and make a better, make a better life for those who I'm responsible for. Right. So I kind of get it. No justification or defending it. But I get it when you're coming from nothing and you kind of got a muscle. You're way in, whack. I will try to play devil's advocate. And see it from your POV. Alright? You've muscled in. You've came up. Now people pay you to check in. Alright? You and Big U... I don't know much about the you guy, but I see you a lot. So anyway, it's a messed up business. But when people pay you this extortion fee, or, or, or this mandatory, <laughs> sorry, this non-complimentary fee here of, uh, of uh, protection, all right? I'm sorry, not extortion. We don't condone snitching, right? I'm not going to snitch. I'm no snitch. This this non-mandatory, I'm sorry, non-complimentary mandatory fee of of uh, of protection and guaranteed safety within the region. <laughs> okay? I never see white people checking in with you when they go to LA, man. You see, that's why I stopped being a rapper. Right? It's a whole, it's more to it. Anyway, you've muscled in and you became this guy and now people got to pay you to check in or whatever the case may be. If I paid you this non-complimentary mandatory fee, I'd never get extorted. But hear me out. Let's pretend I'm a guy. I came up, now I'm in Hollywood and now you want me to check in. So now I paid you, right? Let's pretend that's 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 the case. Man, I expect my protection to be A1. Especially if it's mandatory. You know, we got to pay taxes. <clears throat> so we have the right to critique where our tax money is being spent, right? Now hear me out. If I paid you protection, I got to have A1 protection. And I'm laughing, but this is not funny what I'm about to say. Quando Rondo, quote unquote, checked in with Big U, rolling 60s, under the Crip umbrella. If I'm in his shoes and I'm beefing with the whole world, which Quando, I'm not going to go too hard on you. It's a rough time for you. Keep your head up. I'll come back to you another day. But if I'm him, and I've t- tapped in, checked in, and, and hotel coonery, where's my protection when I need him the most? That, that what happened with Kwando is very unfortunate. I'm talking about, you know, God bless his soul. Lil Pab, Lil Pub. I don't know his name. I never really listened to Quan, though. But I felt bad for the dude. Because I've lost people. To the streets. The same streets you on here. Oh, Pyru, cuz. Pyru? So, if I'm paying anyway, and I'm not getting a service... Then this is ridiculous. This is pretty much fraud, bro. You might as well start r- doing scam rap. I quit rapping so you can take the place that I had in scam rap. You take it, whack. All right? I'll give you some funny bars to start with. What is this? So as a black man, you got to walk in fear from the police in America and pray every day that, you know, you don't get pulled over and end up like George Floyd. Or even on foot. <laughs> you could be riding a scooter and get tackled by four of the uh, 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 
clan enforcement. All right. So you gotta live in that fear of not being, uh, uh-uh. you know. On top of that, you gotta fear for your own people, <clears throat> especially if you're rapping and successful at it, or YouTubing and successful at it. Like haters are just boom come and do you either for your money or just for the hate. We've seen it happen, do we? Just out of hate. So you gotta fear for them too, right? The haters, the cops, and huh, let's say you become a little more successful. Now you've unlocked a, a, a boss stage to this thing. A checking in boss stage, huh? Check in. And now if you miss that payment, <laughs> holla. Now you got the whole come on man, this is ridiculous, alright? Why is it the fact that it's so tough being a black man, we should be alleviating stress off one another? When someone comes to your city, there should be opportunities and work. I get it, you gotta muscle it in, but you're muscling it in too hard and you're just propagating like you got to understand, Wack, this is not you. I'm 24, but I have younger viewers. I'm careful how I act and what I promote because they look up to me. That's why I quit, quote, unquote, scam rap, because I felt like I was loving rapping about tech and nerd stuff, but the byproduct was I don't want to influence people wrong. It is what it is. We gotta change that, man. You gotta change that. Music is the language of the universe. Watch my lecture on it. I dove really deep and scientific down to the smallest details. So when we're talking about the language of the universe, all right, and I'm gonna save this for the next video. The, the, the mentalities that plague it and, and the agendas and stuff. But, whack, shame on you, bro. Straight up. I'm not scared of any politics or nonsense, bro. When I come to California, I'm going to be in VidCon. I'm going to be in Vid Summit. I'm going to YouTuber meetups. I'm hanging out with Jake Paul. Okay. I'm hanging out. Yeah. I'm not coming to the hood to check in. Are you stupid? I'm not even hanging around you. So you're going to come up with some set, with some home videotape that you blackmail me for for the next 10 years. Watch out, man. If you're coming up in this music stuff, especially y'all that watch me that are, you know, tough guy. And, listen, you're not a tough guy, bro. You need a hug. Most of y'all need a hug. That's all. I want a hug. I'll tell you, too. It's rough out here for a, for a black man. And these Negroes make it even harder. You try to prosper, you get the crabs in the bucket. You prospered and defeated the crabs, and you get the Lord knows what. You beat that up. Next stage, you get whack 100. Oh, you got to check in with me. Bro, cut it out, bro. Okay, I don't want to keep talking and repeat myself, but it's a lot of extortion. It's a lot of blackmail. And, you know, when people always talked about the Illuminati, maybe that's where he got it from because, yeah, these tactics are associated with the Illuminati. Do they exist? Do they not? I'm going to tell you what I think. And my personal experience with quote unquote Illuminati. And we're gonna dive deep, of course, as I always do. This was just the off schedule. This was not on my schedule. I was just watching uh, 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 YouTube and I got pissed off. It really made me mad to see a grown man 
sitting there, and, and you just like, oh, why don't you slide? Why don't you slide? Wow. You should be the one telling them, hey, bro, put the guns down, bro. Write fictional stuff, bro. Go educate yourself, bro. Go learn. You're the old guy. There's a lack of fathership. And the ones that end up filling the spot are horrible. So they end up hating on people like Hassan Campbell and Charleston White. Okay, Charleston is a wild card. Okay? But he makes you look in the mirror, don't he? When Hassan told the story about Africa, you're a grown man at that point. All right? You should have been around this long enough to know that there's a lot of R word going on in this gang stuff that you seem to live and uphold, right? Us as a black people, we don't talk about it. Because it's uncomfortable, I know. But it happens. I've seen it. And the type of victims, unfortunately, black men, it's already hard enough. And you can't be soft either, so you got to keep it pushing, you know? Listen, man, we need to do better. We need to heal as a society and educate ourselves. The ancestors are just in face palms. Whack, you're a great businessman. It seems you do your job well. And, and as an executive, again, I can't take that away from you. Congratulations on the success. But shame on you for, 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 you know, like, I will never, and hey, this is entertainment. Any dirt I've done in my life, entertainment. I'm fictional dirt, of course. I've never sent out a younger dude to do it. Never that. And I would never do that. When I've had my issues with people in the past and I've came online and stories talk, my, my, my fans or followers they come and say, hey, bro, should I, you want me to take care of this guy for you? I'm like, nah, bro. I will stop the whole beef that I got going on and be like, bro, listen, you're young. You got your whole life ahead of you. I will sit there and educate this man. They would laugh at me, but I don't care. Because when they grow up and realize what I said and realize I might have saved their life, they thank me. Not resent me for leading them down the path of destruction and, 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 and uh, blackmail and extortion. And... Wow. Where it is, he's still blackmailing Shorty. You know, I'm not going to talk about the situation. Hassan they got a lot more than me, but I just wanted to grab these few points, all right? I don't care that you sold... In a video game, entertainment, fictional, by the way. But I don't care that you sell straps to uh, 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 Crips on both sides or, or Bloods and Crips and said, F it, may they K each other. Nah. I get it. That's, and I hate guns. But okay, that's the business. But I have a problem with everything that I mentioned. And I will be diving more deeply into the future. This is no and bullying. This is no harassment, you two. This is purely a critique based on public info. For the street guys watching that want to uphold me to a code they don't even follow. Alright? I am not a snitch, never been, never will be. Everything I said about him here, guys, is fictional and entertainment. But I don't know these people. I don't know you. I don't know these people. I'm not in the streets with you, whack. I don't, I'm not checking in at the... Huh? <laughs> you have a Canadian brass? I'm not even American. Everything I see is from the same internet. Okay, last thing before I go. If you're going to call me a snitch for this, go and look at whack and look at yourself in the mirror. You guys claim to be street and gangsta and all this... And you go on Clubhouse for hours and pretty much, you know, confess to the goddamn, like, Lord, oh, Lord, like, but yet academics is a snitch? Yet, 
I'm police for talking about it. You realize these apps, you know, I mean, you don't need me to tell you. If you don't know at this point, you know, it's a goldmine for the feds. Like, you know, the feds live on, on Clubhouse. How they? Anyway, man, I'm done talking. All right. Make sure you hit the like button. Smash subscribe button. Uh, new video tomorrow or after. Again, this was off schedule. If you hit the thanks button, all the donations will be shouted out. But I'm, I owe a few, and I'm saving them for the documentary I'm working on. Documentaries. Shout out to Izzy, head of my research team. We've been working. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Hit the share button. All right, tell a friend. All right, tell a to stop looking for paperwork and look in the mirror instead and try to do better. I'm not hating on him. I want to see him do better. And I want to see the black people as a whole do better for the ancestors. Stop being so ignorant in the age of awakening. It's a shame. Shameful.